Hello, dear students. Today's topic is DNA damage and repair. So there are five different types of repair mechanism in the DNA. Let's study one by one. First mechanism is photoreactivation. Second is nucleotide excision repair mechanism. Third is base excision repair mechanism. Fourth is mismatch repair mechanism. And fifth is enzymatic alkyl transferase repair mechanism. So let's begin with the DNA damage. So how the DNA are damaged in uh, natural situation. Suppose there are two thymine bases nearby to each other. One thymine base attached with the deoxyribose sugar in the backbone and another nearby thymine is at also attached to the deoxyribose sugar. When the UV light strikes such type of the DNA strand, it breaks the double bond between the two carbon he present here and here and here and here. And the bond is new bond is made between this carbon and this carbon, this carbon and this carbon. In this situation, you can see. So this situation creates a thymine dimer formation in the DNA strand. And this is a problematic issue because it creates a distortion in the DNA. And it will, uh, it will create problem during the replication or during the transcription process if thymine dimer thymine dimers are present in the DNA strand. So that thymine dimer should be removed from the DNA strand. So how that is removed? So one enzyme known as DNA photolyase, it scan the DNA strand. And during scanning, if it encounter any thymine dimer present in the DNA strand, it stop at that position. And this enzyme have light absorbing component known as chromophore. So there are two chromophores present in the E. coli, which are known. One is N5, N10, methanyl tetrahydrofolate. Another is reduced FADH. So these chromophores have the ability to absorb the light. So mostly they absorb the blue light region. And that energy of the blue light is transferred to this bond, to break this bond between the thymine and thymine and restore the original position. Uh, and thymine dimer is... Uh, this, this is how the thymine dimer is removed from the DNA strand. So this mechanism is known as photo reactivation and the enzyme involved is known as DNA photolyase. And this enzyme have the light absorbing component known as chromophore. There are two chromophore and a DNA, uh, N5, N10 methyl THF and reduced FDH. Next is nucleotide excision repair mechanism. Nucleotide excision repair mechanism involved four different types of enzymes. These enzymes are UVRA, UVRB, UVRC, and UVRD. UVRA protein along with the UVRB scan the DNA. And during scanning, if they found any distortion due to thymine dimer, they stop at that particular position. UVRB protein increase the specificity of UVRA protein in recognition of the thymine dimer. Once the thymine dimer has been recognized by this complex, UVRA protein is removed and then UVRC protein binds to this particular region. UVRC protein then cleave the thymine dimer uh, DNA strand containing the thymine dimer, eight, stream, eight bases upstream of the thymine dimer and four bases downstream of the thymine dimer. Thereby, it cleave a 12 base DNA strand. Then DNA helicase known as UVRD protein, remove this cut DNA and then DNA polymerase first fill the gap and the seal is, uh, nick is sealed by the DNA ligase. This is how the nucleotide excision repair mechanism works. Let us understand with one more slide. UVRA protein binds to the DNA at distortion region. UVRB protein increase the specificity of the UVRA binding to the distortion region. Then UVRC protein nicks the DNA eight bases upstream and four bases downstream of the thymine dimer. Then UVRD protein, which is a helicase enzyme, separate the strand of about 12 bases and the DNA polymerase first fill the gap by its five prime to three prime synthesis activity and ligase then seal the gap. So this is the second repair mechanism known as nucleotide excision repair mechanism. Third, mechanism is known as base excision repair mechanism. Sometimes the cytosine is converted to uracil in the DNA. 
by the deamination you know that dna does not have uracil Ure dna only have cytosine but sometimes the deamination can cause this uh, formation of uracil and this uracil should be removed from the dna so this uh, uracil is recognized by the uracil dna glycosylase enzyme this enzyme cuts the bond between the sugar and the base and glycosidic bond is uh, cut down by this enzyme and after removal of the base a uh, a purinic or a pyrimidic site is created in the dna strand the dna strand in this situation is intact because the nucleotide are not cut down or phosphodiester bond is not cut down in this situation only the glycosidic bond is cut down and thereby only the base is removed from the dna strand now this a pyrimidic or a purinic site is recognized by the ap endonuclease enzyme the class 1 ap endonuclease enzyme cleave the uh, three prime side of the ap site and class second nick the five prime side of the ap site then exonuclease enzyme remove the short region of the dna and dna polymerase first and ligase finally repair the gap region so this is known as base excision repair mechanism where first the base is removed from the dna then ap endonuclease cleave the dna containing the a pyrimidic or a purinic site then exonuclease remove the dna region nucleotide poly uh, polynucleotide region then polymerase first and ligase fill the gap so this is different from the nucleotide excision repair because at first only the base is removed and this is that is why it is known as base excision repair mechanism next is mismatch repair mechanism so sometimes mismatch is created during the replication process suppose this is guanine and it should have bind with the cytosine here but thymine is uh, wrongly added in the newly synthesized dna strand because the dna polymerase enzyme sometimes can add a wrong base in the strand so this wrong base should be removed so this is known as mismatch and this mismatch is recognized by enzyme called muts or mute s enzyme this mismatch once recognized by the mute s enzyme is then interact with another protein mute l protein this mute l protein then interact with the mute h protein mute h protein is already bound to a particular region in the dna it has its own recognition site in the dna and it can come recognize that which strand which of the two strand is parental strand and which of is newly made strand by methylation state of the strand parental strand are normally methylated and newly made uh, strand is not methylated so this is how the mute h protein or enzyme can recognize that this lower uh, blue color strand is a newly made strand and this thymine is wrong rather than the guanine is wrong so this mute h protein cleave the newly made strand it starts the uh, cleaving from its recognition site from this point and it goes on up to few bases away from the incorrect base so this is how a gap is created then dna polymerase first and ligase fill the gap and a new uh, base is attached as correct base in the uh, thymine in place of thymine so in this particular repair mechanism there are three main protein which are involved first mute s protein which recognize the wrong base in the newly strand uh, newly made strand then it interact with the mute l protein mute l protein then interact with the mute h protein mute h protein recognize that the, which one is a newly made strand and cleave the newly made strand and then finally dna polymerase and ligase rip, uh, fill the gap and seal the nick then the last repair mechanism is alkyl transferase mechanism sometimes the alkyl group is attached at the at the o6 position of the guanine and thereby it can change the uh, base pairing um, 
property of the guanine because normally guanine is bind with the cytosine but sometimes because of the alkyl group present at the O6 position this guanine can bind with the thymine also so this can create a mismatch repair a uh, mismatch uh, base in the dna and that should be removed the alkyl group from the O6 position of the guanine should be removed so this enzyme alkyl transferase take this alkyl group itself on itself and remove the uh, alkyl group from the, from the guanine but only one enzyme can take the alkyl group from <coughs> O6 position and thereby it active inactivate the enzyme itself so each enzyme is required to remove each re uh, alkyl group from this guanine so this is how the alkyl transferase uh, repair mechanism works so there are total five repair mechanism i hope you have understood all the five all these five types of repair mechanism if you have any query let me know accordingly on my email id thank you very much